one Kansas City neighborhood, people are breathing a sigh of relief. They say a troublesome man is off the streets now after long periods of harassing businesses and homeowners. Homeowners also complaining of a homeless man threatening them with a machete, a concern that's become more common. Fox 4 Sean McDowell working for you live on West 39th, where Sean the Volker neighborhood has a unique viewpoint of this man. An unexpected reaction, you may say, John. Business operators along this avenue say this man has been to jail before. He always comes right back to bother them again once he gets out of jail. Uh, they do see him as a threat. However, people here, as you mentioned, they have a unique outlook when it comes to this man. They hope he gets and needs some mental health help. It was obvious dude wasn't wasn't all put together. Shopkeepers and homeowners in the Volker neighborhood, especially those along West 39th Street, say they know Ronald Johnson well. I gave dude as big a benefit as I possibly could until it was like, yo, dude, you stole stuff from me. Johnson isn't welcome at Burning Spider Stoke Company, where Joe Burnham sells custom-made skateboards. He's complained to police that Johnson causes trouble, stealing from his store and harassing customers while he does. Burnham and other business managers believe Johnson carries a weapon. It's like, dude is erratic and acting enough in my interactions with him that he's not the one predictable thing of this situation is dude's not not there. He's not, yeah, <laughs> he's not making rational decisions. Jackson County court records indicate Johnson was arrested on March 18th. He appeared in court on Friday afternoon facing charges of trespassing and meth possession. Neighbors say the homeless man has been known to sleep on porches and break into their homes. Some Volker neighbors also complain about a homeless man threatening them with a machete. If you've been on the streets, there's nothing worse than that. Living on the streets is dangerous. Doug Langner helps more than 200 homeless people each day at Hope Faith Ministries. Langner believes a local church may be giving machetes to homeless people, intending for them to work with the tools. Langer agrees with business managers in the Volker neighborhood that people like this need compassion and assistance. They deserve to have a safe neighborhood. The person that is houseless de deserves to be safe. So the big thing we can do is let's find solutions to get people off the streets. Court records seem to indicate that cases involving machetes are, are growing. That concern may be getting a little more serious. Uh, at least one homicide from 2003 stemming from a homeless camp involved a death and involved a machete related to that. Lauren Johnson is due back in court on April 15th. Sean McDowell in Kansas City, Missouri tonight. Thank you.